how to install the drive shafts on a Mini Cooper R56. So pretty much I'm going to shove the drive shaft through into the transmission, line up the splines, push it inside the transmission splines and then attach the CV, the constant velocity joint, onto the hub. And then once that's in place and the suspension is mounted, I'll then tighten up the two Torx bolts that hold the carrier bearing onto the engine. Right, so what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to line this, these splines into the transmission, into the differential on the transmission, and then I'm going to push, push that in, and hopefully it should just push through. So because I was lying under the car, I just didn't have enough strength, enough purchase to actually push the drive shaft into the differential on the transmission. So I had to actually come out from underneath the car and go back to the wheel arch and push from there. Okay, so I've got a speed sensor here, I've got the shock absorber, and I've also got the hub. So pretty much, hopefully you can see, this just pushes down. And then you've got your drive shaft here. You put on the nut, just a normal thread clockwise to tighten it up. And then what we'll do is, as you can see, there's a hole, there's a hole there on the um, shock absorber. That's got to line up with the hole on the hub here. Now, this can be a little bit difficult. Hopefully it should slide up. Okay. That's the the bolt through. Now you put on the nut. And again we'll tighten that up to top. Push this through. And then we need to fit the speed sensor onto the hub which is just held on by an allen bolt Thank you. 
That's that in there. That's in there. That's in there. Okay. And this is a 32 millimeter bolt. So pretty much what we have to do with that, we tighten it up as as far as we can and then there's an indentation here on the, the drive shaft and then what we do is we just we just hit that with um, like a cold chisel and then that way this nut can never move it can never loosen off and your wheels will never fall off So now the next step is to bolt on the carrier bearing for the drive shaft which attaches to the engine and that is a T50 torque. So let's do that. This is when you realise um, how difficult these little minis can be to work on when you're lying under lying underneath one, trying to um, trying to get little nuts and bolts in when you've got big sausage fingers. Okay. And I'll go round these at the end and just tighten them up to torque. Once I get the manufacturer specifications. Alright, so that's the that's the drive shaft in on the driver's side if you're in the UK and Australia. So now on to the other side. One thing I want to point out is that the drive shaft on the transmission side, uh, passenger side in the UK and Australia and driver's side in America. Um, once I tried to pull out the drive shaft, no matter what I did, I just couldn't seem to get it, get it off the splines. So I had to revert to actually just cutting off the, the rubber boot. So that's going to be a little bit of a mission when I'm replacing the, the drive shaft. Okay, so we have to fit the speed sensor. There's a hole there. Okay. And there you have it, that's the both drive shafts fitted. <laughs> 